So if we do see an otter, it's going to be absolute banter. <laughs> What are we doing today? Looking for otters. Looking for what? Otters. Otters? Yeah. That is right, today we are looking for otters. We are here at Doxy Marshes, which is over in Stafford, just off the M6. You could probably hear it in the background, loud as. Um, but Doxy Marshes has apparently got quite a big otter collection, uh, or population, probably the better word. So we're gonna go have a look. It's about half two, so we haven't got a lot of time, but otters are sort of crepuscular. They prefer the morning, they prefer the evening. So quite interesting. Uh, the weather's not very good either, but um, we're gonna go see what we can find. chubby squirrel he's bulking up for winter that's what he's doing now otters are something me and katie behind the camera have never seen before in the flesh in the wild obviously we've seen them in zoos like usually the asian small clawed otter which are small little dinky things now the, the european otter or the eurasian otter is it's just quite big they're like two thick two feet to three feet long and that's without the tail so quite a hefty creature when you see them um but it's going to be quite difficult they're notoriously very elusive and um we're probably not going to see one today but obviously we live in hope we want to try and find one. we want to try and see one ducks and that ducks and that what is that Otter. that's on the river south going down there just next to the train line we are here we're going to take this right turn right there and we're heading to the river let's see an otter this is a weird place. It's like the M6 is there and it's really quite loud. Over that way, you've got a train line, but then you have all this really nice land to look at, all this marshland. It's really quite pretty. <laughs> So Katie's gone on ahead of me and right in front of me on the path is a massive heron. And before he flies off, I'll try and get a little image for you, but I'm on my phone, so it might be difficult. There he is, just over the fence, look. <laughs> he's big boy, here he goes. See you later, mate. Whoa, look at him. Oh, he's telling me off. So this annoying knobhead just rang me as I was chasing that heron and- I think it's over there. Well, that's no good now. I was right next to it. He just interrupted my video. Just to be like, where are ya? Are you near? <laughs> I better film this be our witness statement if we get attacked by a swan. I mean, they're really pretty, but they're horrible bastards, aren't they? Keep your eyes peeled for paw prints, little cute footprints. Otters have got like a little five toed footprint. It's really quite cute. All right, mate. I don't suppose you've seen any otters knocking about, have you? That's so disappointing. So we've just uh, we just spoken to a guy uh, who was out running. We we just got to this bridge uh, to have a look around and sort of like take stock and see where we are and whatever. And um, this guy came running over. He sort of like asked if we'd seen anything. He said like, oh yeah, a couple of herons and etc etc. And it turns out this guy was really really knowledgeable. Um, so he's seen otters here quite a lot. And he was saying about he saw a sprint on a tree uh, just over that way, which is really quite exciting and really good news. It means they're still here. Um, and the way we're walking now is where he said we've probably got our best chance of finding some otters. Um, it's just gone four o'clock, and we're in like a good time right now because obviously it's turning into night time, and we're on we're on a path now where less people go. So this should be our best chance. But obviously it's gonna be hard anyway isn't it so this tree here uh, the guy said he found a sprint on it and a sprint is poo it's otter poo on a tree and that's obviously a really good sign that they could be in this bit the lights dropping now it's, it's still quite a bit wet 
We haven't seen any sign of an otter ourselves. We're still carrying on the search though. We're probably gonna go until it's dark. But we've seen nothing. But for all we know, there could be otters in there. <laughs> I'm not getting in there, are you? <laughs> this is difficult. So what's the plan of action then? What are we gonna do? Walk back where we were. Yeah. Have a look. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to the way we came because we've walked out to this like um not very walked on bit so less humans here which we thought would have, would have been better uh we haven't seen any we're gonna head back that way walking it down the river again and um just see if we can spot anything like it'll be really disappointing if we don't find one but i think that disappointment will, will be met with uh, matched with realism because like i say searching for otters isn't exactly an easy thing to do um they're very elusive and it's just one of those things like if we miss them we miss them we'll come again we'll do it again but um we're going to give ourselves the best chance we can now and just see what happens now those of you that saw the video the other day where i pointed out like the animal anomalies thing the list that i've got you might have seen american mink uh, was on that list and american mink is pretty much well, it's the same family as the otter but it's uh it's a lot smaller and they're usually jet black um, and the funny thing with that is my mum, she was uh, with my dad fishing just before lockdown and she spotted one in the river <laughs> they were fishing her. She just sort of came back and she was like, oh yeah, saw what I think was an otter today and obviously looked into it a bit and it was it's not, it's a mink. But um, that was really cool and it looks really class in the river. Apparently there was two of them there. And my dad said, who is obviously a fisherman, keen fisherman, says whenever he sees an otter or a mink, he hears it before he's seen it, so he usually hears them like plop into the water <laughs> and um, and then he'll spot it. But apart from that, he's never like actively seen one running about or anything like that. And another thing with otters, they kill fish. And obviously my dad being a fisherman that he is, doesn't like that. But um, <laughs> what goes with that is obviously you'll see fish bones on the side of like lakes, rivers, uh, reservoirs, anything like that. So we should be looking out for those as well. But have seen none of those right it's dark <laughs> mate this you can't you can't see so if we do see an otter it's gonna be absolute banter uh, absolutely no signs of otters today unfortunately it's been a, it's a really nice place though this it is a really nice place but it's not been the one for us unfortunately oh okay katie until next time see you later enjoy your drive and that thing Linda, my babes, how are you doing? You good, darling? You're in my boot, look. <laughs> uh, so, today wasn't the one. It wasn't it. We didn't manage to see an otter, unfortunately. It rained on us both quite a bit. And um, we didn't even see signs. Uh, so we were told there was a spray on a tree. We didn't see it. It must have been a few weeks ago or something. Uh, so it was quite unfortunate that was. Didn't see any paw prints. Just didn't see anything that resembled otter. So, maybe next time. But uh, I'm going to get myself in the dry now because it's raining quite a bit. And um, I'm going to drive myself home. It's a shame though. Nice place. And I am home. So a bit unfortunate today, but that is how it goes. That's twice in a week now. We've gone to look for something, haven't seen it. And I mean, admittedly, otters are very, very difficult to see. 26 years I've been on this planet, never seen one. So I wasn't, wasn't going there with overly inflated... Uh, dreams of seeing one but it's still you're always disappointed when you come away and you don't see stuff like that I'm just gonna take a seat over in the silver smithing corner oh that's where i sit look that's where i sit that's where the big man sits the uh the searching doesn't stop there so tomorrow we're actually gonna go look for the parakeet at newbold and uh, i think that'll be quite interesting we'll see if we can get something now we're recording the podcast in the morning i'm doing that with rachel and then me and katie are going to join up again and go looking around newbold uh we're gonna break we're gonna take some bird seeds we're gonna try and find these parakeets that i keep hearing so that'll be fun um, anyway i'm gonna leave it here so if you've liked this video make sure you press like let's hit that like target again you guys honestly are absolutely smashing it every single time and i really appreciate it so thank you very much i hope you are enjoying these videos and if you're new to here uh, make sure you subscribe as well stick along for the journey and exciting next week we're going to be looking for some more boar down in the forest of dean we're going there again so much animal searching is going on Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure that notification bell's on. And uh, I'll catch you on the journey. And uh, see you tomorrow.